Welcome to a new series, Wednesday Workouts. Every Wednesday I'll publish a new workout. So for our first Wednesday workouts, a first few actually, I actually have a little injury to my toe. So I'm going to be using the reformer, but I'm going to be skipping all the exercises that involve being on the balls of my feet for right now. Um, and that leaves out some of my favorites, actually. A few years ago, I would have been delighted to skip stomach massage series and the semicircle, and now I'm a little bit sad, but they'll be back in no time. So let's start with the footwork, and certainly you're gonna include the ones with the, on the balls of the feet, if you like, because you don't have to skip them. And for those of you that maybe have, are in a similar predicament as myself, then maybe this will be helpful. So let's get started. I'm gonna be on three springs, and I'm gonna actually start with the arches. So I'm gonna do the arches and the heels. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now onto the heels. And really feel like you push that bar away and you lift your waistline all the way up off the top of your head. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm going to omit the tendon stretch. I can still lower my foot bar. And then I'm ready for the hundred. Bring everything up into position and begin. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, two more sets, and last set. Finish the exercise, take your handles into one hand, you're going to tease her up in your transition to the overhead. I'm putting two springs on in the middle and taking the outside two springs off. And that's so that when I get to the one spring exercises like rowing and pulling straps, I have one spring in the middle. It's a little better balance for my body and also for my apparatus. Headpiece goes down, and here we go, we're going to do five overhead. Overhead, up. Oh. Really stretch the thigh up to the ceiling. Two more. Last one. Bring everything in for coordination. Scoop in as you send your legs out. Like you gotta create a lot of space on the inside to support your leg going out. <clears throat> nice deep breaths. <sighs> One more time. And then take your handles into one hand. You're gonna sit up and turn all the way around. Once you're in place, reach back, take off a sprint. We're gonna do all the rowing exercises. Sitting up tall, stretch your legs away from you as you pull your stomach back. Lift and scoop. Keep your scoop. Keep your scoop. Make it more scoopy. <laughs> scoopy rhymes with Snoopy. <laughs> One more time. Aim low here, so your shoulders are nice and drawn down, and then you're just going to kind of use your muscles of the center to stretch and move your arms. Do the next one. Lift your back, lift up in the handle. Scoop like mad. If you grab one hand's fingers with the other, you can do a little nice stretch for yourself.
Pulse one, two, three. Lift as you let go so you don't twang your arms apart. And then one more time. I'll grab the other hand's fingers this time. And then place your handles just beside you on the mat. Turn around. Slide back between the handles and against the shoulder rests. And then you're ready for from the chest. Out. Down. Up. And lift. Really keep the lift that you get with the support of the strap when the support goes away. And here, really lift, really reach in all directions. One more. I like that I'm nodding to myself, like, hey, that was a good job. <laughs> Stretch your heels forward, pull your stomach back and reach all the way up, and then lift. Scoop, stretch out like swan on the barrel. One more time. All the limbs forward, all the stomach back. And then I'm going to cross my legs and go to the shave. Use your bottom to keep your leg position nice and grounded as you lift your back. We're going to do five. Mm. Oh, this is my favorite exercise. One more. Change the arms and legs. And here we go for the hug. Same thing. Keep your seat grounding your lower body. And really take forever to open the arms. So your stomach moves your arms, and then your lift goes on forever. Two more. I know the hug has become the hardest exercise suddenly. I'm going to replace my handles and then I'm going to step off and I'm going to get the long box. We're still on one spring and if you see I'm walking a little bit funny <laughs> with my toe and I'm going to put the headpiece up because eventually I'll need it up and then I'm ready for pulling straps. Go ahead and do the swan if that's an exercise that you do. I'm just going to omit it because I'll have to be on the balls of my here we go. Push down and lift up and return. I'm going to imagine that I'm standing on my feet or using the connection of the swan that I didn't do so that I can use my whole body to pull the straps. Now I'm going to move to the T. So again, my stomach, my bottom, everything working. One more. And then I'll take my handles into one hand. I'm going to step off to the side. I'm going to add one more spring with my free hand. And then I'm going to get back on for the back stroke. Placing my bottom right on the edge. And here we go. Three in each direction. Again, really scoop in as your limbs go away. Reverse. And then I'm going to come up in my transition again to take one spring off before the teaser. And here we go. This feels like a nice little stretch to be on the box. So you can take advantage of this. Just try not to get lost down here. And let's do circles in each direction. And reverse. Again, I'm trying to use primarily my lower body because that's really what's doing the work of holding me in this position so that then I can do fancy things with my arms. <laughs> we'll see how fancy they get today. Come all the way up. So now let's circle with the legs. Three in 
stretching. Hard to talk and do this. And then place yourself down. And then one that I do for myself is a twist in the teaser. So if that doesn't seem possible, feel free to do three times arms up and down or circles again like we've done. But I'm going to do the twist. So you'll come up and hold your position. And then it's kind of like tick-tock in the air. So you're going to reach the lower body and the upper body in different directions. And then you're going to return. And one strap will go a little slack. I'm just going to do it two times. And then down. And then I'm going to actually toss my straps away and step off. So now I'm going to go to the long stretch series. And for myself, I'm going to place my pad mostly for ceremonial reasons because you probably will be doing the long stretch and the down stretch and the up stretch. I'm going to start with the elephant, the elephant with one leg, and also the long back stretch. Okay, so getting on for the elephant. I'm going to do eight. I usually do five, but since this is the bulk of my long stretch series, why not do a few more? Five, six, seven, eight. And then hold the carriage still as you go to one leg. Hold the carriage still as you go to the second leg. And then I'm going to step off, and I'm going to get right back on again for the long back stretch. Going down, out, lift up. Mm -hmm. One more this direction. And now reverse. Let's do one more. And then I'm going to step off. So I'm actually, again, the pad is a bit ceremonial. Feel free to do the stomach massage series. In, in fact, I encourage it. And then I'm actually going to go right to the tendon stretch. See, that's not very good news either. So I'm going to do the tendon stretch with two legs and then side and back. And you'll see me as I return the leg and as I step off after the back, there's a little bit of balancing that's a little challenging for me right now, so I'm gonna step off in a little different way. Here we go. I'm just getting my feet all situated. And three to the back. And then I'm actually gonna just step down and I'm going to get back on again for the other side. And then here we go. I'm going to do this three in the center again. I feel like it's a nice little reset. Three to the back. And then again, I'm going to step off. So from there, we're going to go to the short box. Foot bar goes down. The pad can come with me and the headpiece can go down. And then I'll bring the box, the pole, and the pad. Okay. While I'm at it, short spine I'm going to do as well. So I'm going to set up the straps now, threading the leather strap through the handle. And I'm just going to leave them kind of on the floor at the ready for myself. Okay, I'm going to grab my two foot straps, climb aboard. Okay, and then stretching my heels forward, lifting my ribs way away from my tailbone. I'm going to stretch all the way back. And then I'm going to lift and come up. Let's do two more. Pull your ribs far, far away from your tailbone. One more time. 
actually, we might do two more. And do a little stretch with the arms crossed. And then I'll do the opposite cross with the arm too. Okay. So now for the pole. We're gonna do this one five times. Really feel like you're reaching through your heels and you're standing in the air. One more. Keep pressing the legs apart and stretch over to the side. Sometimes the exhale helps. Oh, I feel like this one is super stretchy now. If you can continue to feel like the legs go forward as you go to the side, you can get a little more mileage out of your side bend and it'll give you a really nice stretch. Perhaps it'll go where it needs to go. Rest the pole for a moment. So now let's do two sets of the twist and then we'll do one set of around the world. Oh, crackety crackety. And this is the part where you really want to keep that strap nice and quiet because it's, you need it. It's really helpful in this exercise. I'm just going to back up a little bit, get my strap all tight. And then here we go around the world. Mm. Return trip. And then stow the bar and let's do the tree. Stretch a few times, walk up, bring yourself to your leg. Try not to pull on your leg. You really want to get your back lifting. Your leg will get a stretch the more you lift your back. And then really reach through the lower body, just like you did when you had the two legs in the strap, doing the other parts, so that that part of your body is doing a really good job. I mean, a lot of work. Pull your stomach far away. Really make your hands have to walk down your leg because your stomach is pulling it way back. Hold on to the frame. Pull your stomach in. Pull with your foot. Pull with your hands. And then reach with your legs and scoop your stomach in. And then we're going to do one more. This one, if it's available to you, park, put your hands on the floor. Press into your hands and do three leg circles in each direction. And then again, reach through your legs, pull your stomach in. Grab onto your toes, lift and stretch. And then take your leg across. I really like this little figure four stretch afterwards. Oh, it's a good one. And then let's switch legs. Oh, sitting up really tall, stretch the leg three times. Walking out. Lift your back up and forward. Dip back. Pull your stomach in. Pull it away, away, away. Reach with your leg in the air, with your leg under the strap. Reach for the frame, pull, pull your stomach in, reach up to your leg. I say pull an awful lot. <laughs> so now let's do the leg circle if that's available to you. Really set it up, scoop your stomach in, drag your hands down your leg, place your hands on the floor and push and then circles. Oh. Mm. Reverse. Pick your head up, reach with your legs. Reach, reach, reach with the lower body. Ooh, I'm gonna carefully go up to my toes. Hmm. Oh. And then I'm gonna take that leg across. Lift and stretch over. Okay, so now I'm gonna take everything away. 
I'm gonna put the pad back where it lives. I'm gonna take the box and the pole. And then once everything was returned, I'm all set up for short spinal massage. So I'm gonna pick up my straps, and I'm gonna have a seat at the end of the carriage and lie back. Make sure you don't drop anything on your head. Never a good workout if you leave with a black eye. Okay, so now we're gonna do five of the short spinal massage. Pull your stomach in and push the straps away. Lift, and here feel like you go up to the strap to lengthen your back down. And again, out and up. Push up to bend your knees, and lift up to go down. Oh, I feel a little zigzaggy today. <laughs> and I feel like I'm kind of reaching my feet up to the strap, kind of the same way that I reach them from my center to do the teaser. And it creates a shape in my back that rolls nicely down. Let's do two more. Oh yeah, that's feeling good. One more. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a squeeze here. Keeping my tailbone long, keeping my stomach in, I'm gonna try to pull my legs in as much as I can without letting go of the seat and just, you know, folding up. I'm gonna try to keep nice and long and it's actually gonna give me a better stretch of my back. I know, it sounds better, doesn't it? <laughs> now I'm gonna take my straps off my feet. I'm gonna undo the straps and place them. So next would come the semicircle and the headstands. I'm gonna skip those. I'm gonna go straight to chest expansion. And here we go. Choke up on the straps, lift. You know, short spine, semicircle, Headstands are really helping all of these muscles back here to get ready to do chest expansion and thigh stretch. So I do miss them finally. Suddenly I'm not quite as together in the chest expansion as I would like to be, or as I usually am, I should say. I'm gonna do two sets. And then I'm gonna take my handles in one hand. I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna add a third spring, I think. And I like to have, um, since I have four springs, if there's three on, I like to have one off in the middle just so it's a little more balanced. And now I'm gonna get ready for the thigh stretch. Reaching forward, pulling back in the stomach and staying really long. The tailbone going down, the waistline going up. And then I'm gonna lift my waist to return. exercise I could do. I'm going to skip it for today. I'm going to skip the arm circles and the snake twist and I'm going to go straight to the corkscrew and the tick-tock. So I'm going to go back to two springs, head pieces down, and actually at this point I'm going to set up my straps for long spinal massage because unfortunately there's no reason that I can't continue to do that one. <laughs> so I'm going to thread the leather strap so I'm going to add the leather strap and the handle together, and then I'll put the black strap through both without twisting it. And then I'm just going to leave these with the hardware on the outside for here, waiting for when I finish with the balance control. Okay, here we go, corkscrew. I'm going to do two sets of corkscrew and three sets of TikTok. And I'm going to do a corkscrew when, where your legs go here instead of all the way up. So I'm going to go down. I feel like my lower back needs a nice little massage. Oh. I'm 
feeling like my workouts now are going to keep me balanced while I'm sort of favoring my left foot as I walk. Apologies if I've done three sets, it just feels so good. And then I'm going to really reach my tailbone long and stretch my low back as I roll down. And then here I'm going to reach to the right with my legs and look left. And then to the left with my legs and look right. And really make the rib reluctant to let the legs go. And then it's going to pull them back even though they don't want to go. Oh, wow, that felt really good. It almost makes up for the snake twist. Almost. So now I'm going to slide down. And I'm just going to do the preparation for the control balance stepping off. I probably could step off, but right now I'm a little bit favoring my foot, so I'm not going to. But at home, if you step off, you should step off. <laughs> okay, so here we go. And I'm just going to work on like the squareness of my hips as I do this. So I'm going to lift my back as I stretch the leg. And if you're really diligent with your scoop and with your seat, it might give you a really nice back stretch. I'm always on the lookout for those. I'm going to do one more set. Those of you that are stepping off, you can do right, left, and step off to the right. And then left, right, and step off to the left. Oh. And then I will roll down. Pulling myself back onto the carriage. I'm going to place my straps on for a long spinal massage. Oh, and actually, I've been using three springs for long spinal massage. And then when I do frog and circles after, I'm going to go back to two. Be careful. Three springs may be a lot. I find it to be very supportive as I try to learn how to kind of use the straps and my connection to the apparatus to my advantage. But if you're used to two springs and that seems challenging, then you might want to stick with that. So I'm really trying to use my whole lower body to push into the strap. Much like you do with short spinal massage, it's just a little easier because you have a shorter strap. And then I'm in reverse. And I'm just trying to come up as much as I can without really swinging my legs and doing momentum-y things. But the goal, of course, is to come all the way, you know, to come up as much as you can. I'm going to take my straps off and sit up. <laughs> it's a new transition. And go to two springs. <laughs> And then I'm going to do a little frog in circles as well. Because, hey, it's one of the ones I can do. <laughs> I shouldn't skip it. Okay. I'm just going to do a few frog. And then I'm going to do some circles. And keep pulling your stomach really far away from your feet. And then you'll come in. And again, you can give yourself that same little stretch that you did previously in the short straps. I'm going to take my straps off carefully and put them in the well behind me. So now I'm going to do the mermaid on one spring. It's a side-to-side -side exercise, and since I'm a little, you know, side-challenged, I'm going to do that. Um, and then I'm going to go to pelvic lift. So I'm going to skip the knee stretches. Mm, I know, very sad. And I'm going to skip running. <laughs> and yes, this is the side I want to do first. Oops, hello, foot bar. Okay, so I'm going to do three each side, and my legs are 
quite stacked against the shoulder rests. I, you know, they're not absolutely adhered there. So it is a bit of a cheat, but you want to make sure you can sit up. And I'm also making sure that I'm not smashing my foot back there. So that's how it's going to be for today. So I'm going to stretch out, lift my body to bring the carriage in, and then stretch over. And this part where you're lifting your waistline and you're not holding on, this is the part you want to work on. Because there might be a side where you let go of your support and you fall over. That does happen. I'm going to do one more. And then remember, this is not your arm pushing the carriage out. This is all of this moving the carriage away from your arm and moving it back. And then from there, I'm just going to stretch my legs and bring them the other way. And we'll do this side. And I like, this is my side where I feel like I fall over a little bit. Oh, but it feels so good. So if you have a mirror behind your reformer or in front of your reformer, you can kind of check because as you do this exercise, it's easy to be in a little bit of an arch. And you want to get your rib working, your seat working, so your back is nice and long. And so I kind of use it as a help if I'm feeling like, hmm, not sure where everything is just yet. Looking into the mirror really helps. Oh, I'm going to do one more. Push yourself away from your arm and then lift yourself back. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to go back to three springs for the pelvic lift. And I'm going to put my headpiece up. So today I'm going to do the pelvic lift on my arches uh, with my feet in parallel. You can certainly do them turned out, but for me today parallel is going to be better. So as you pick your hips up, pretend your back's getting longer toward your feet. And then we're going to do it 10 times. And then reach your tailbone toward the foot bar, toward the ceiling. This is five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Well, I feel like just after 10, it's all, it's finally getting where it's not like this and it's a little more even. So I'm just going to do a couple more. Okay. So just to finish my workout, I'm going to be right on the floor here. And I'm just going to do a few rolling like a ball, a few open leg rocker and a few seal. And I'm not going to really come up to standing today. I think I can go down, but I'm going to do sort of a not your usual way to go down. I'm just going to reach forward. I'm going to keep my feet flat and then I'm going to sit and I'm going to roll. I like to end the reformer workout with rolling just because there's no rolling on the reformer. And also you've done so much good work on the reformer. It's nice to feel those effects in your rolling. Because my tendency is to not be a very smooth roller. So I really like how much smoothness I can get after the reformer. And then I'm actually going to do this flexed foot one too. I'm just going to hold the big toe. My back tends to be on the stiff side. So this one really is the ultimate in opening up the back. And you know, if you don't do them, then it'll get better. <laughs> and then I'm going to do the seal and clap, clap, clap. Gently clap, clap, clap. And then just one more. And I probably could stand up, but maybe we'll see that in Wednesdays to come. So thank you very much. Welcome to the first Wednesday workout. And if there's other things you'd like to see in the workout or questions that you have, please leave me a comment and let's have a chat. Thanks so much. Bye.
So one more time. Open again. So Joe, you do two more of the regular exercise. I'm going to do an advanced version. You want to try. Grab your toes, roll back. Big exhale to help you come up. Roll back. 